All right, guys. Um, making another quick uh, Eagles video here just because I've been doing some research. I actually uh, I got diagnosed with the COVID, so I'm going to be on lockdown for the next week or so. Um, so figure what better to do while I'm locked away than to uh, get back up to speed with the Eagles here. And um, something I was I was just looking at the depth here and I gotta say guys I gotta say this team seems to be much better than I thought it would be and again I'm not just trying to like hype the Eagles up like I do every year that I watch the Eagles besides last year but um, this is pretty good guys when you have Andre Dillard behind Jordan Maliata on the depth chart uh, that's a pretty stacked O-line. It looks like for we got Jordan Maliata, we got Isaac Samalu, who I always thought was great. Jason Kelsey's still with the team, which is fantastic. Um, I think Brandon Brooks is injured right now. But, you know, he's another really good one. And then Lane Johnson. Now, I don't know who Landon Dickerson, Nate Herbig, or Jake Driscoll are. So I'll be like watching for these players um, as the season goes on. Um, and even our quarterback room, guys, like honestly, I don't mind this. We have Jalen Hurts, Joe Flacco, Garner Minsu. I mean, in my opinion, that's three solid quarterbacks. Joe Flacco is iffy. I mean, you know, I'm biased. I probably would have went out and got like Nick Foles instead of Joe Flacco. But I get what the Eagles are trying to do. They're trying to distance themselves from Foles because while Foles magic is real it also seems that the quarterbacks get cursed whenever he's around so Joe Flacco is Foles-ish and Dar Garner Minso Minsu is also pretty Foles-ish they're, they're these young pocket quarterback well not Joe Flacco but Garner Minsu is a pretty young you know pocket passer I liked him on the Jaguars I was one of those people that defended him Joe Flacco, I've never been like a giant fan of him, but you know, I did love that he beat the 49ers on the Ravens. Anytime the Niners lose in the Super Bowl, um, it's always a plus for me. So <clears throat> I've had a long standing hatred with the 49ers. It goes way back to uh, my college days, back when uh, Colin Kaepernick was the quarterback. Just a lot of bandwagons. As you guys know, I'm from Utah. So. There's like three teams that people pick here, the 49ers, the Seattle Seahawks, or the Denver Broncos. So like all three of those teams are kind of like eh for me. That That's a side rant. Um, speaking of which, we play the 49ers this week and I hope we beat them. Um, I haven't decided if I'll make a preview video about that yet. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna do preview videos this year as much. Um, probably more just cover other things because I do want to actually cover other things in the league other than just the Eagles um, so that's what I've been trying to do is get back up to touch with all that but uh yeah wide receiver Devonte Smith obviously he's great and then they put JJ Arcega Whiteside behind him you know the JJ Arcega Whiteside pick will always frustrate me though guys because that should have been DK Metcalf that that should have been we all know that should have been um, and then Jalen Ragor, like I like him as well, but Jalen Ragor should have been Justin Jeffries. So, uh, but you know he's pretty solid. Jalen Ragor and Devonte Smith, that's a really good duo. I don't know who Quez Watkins is. Obviously, I know who Greg Ward is. I love that guy. So he's on the number two. This is very a very interesting roster. Then for running backs, we have Miles Sanders, we have Boston Scott, and we have Kenny Gainwell, which. I said I really liked, I didn't even know they drafted Kenneth Gainwell, so I think he's great. Boston Scott, he's fought so hard to be on this team, so it's great to see him there. Miles Sanders is the number one, very interesting, because I think he was like the number two. And then, I'm not sure, Jordan Howard, I don't know what the deal with him is, but I have <coughs> been reading that he's like a free agent. And so the Eagles could just go grab him again if they wanted to. But that looks like a pretty stacked running back lineup to me. <clears throat> and then on tight ends, you have Dallas Go Dallas Goder, Zach Ertz. So Dallas is number one now, according to this list. And keep in mind, I'm on Philly Voice. I'll leave a link for this article down below. I'm just kind of going off of 
how they're listing them. They're saying Dallas Goder is the number one tight end now, and Zach Ertz is number two. And then Jake Stahl. I guess these are the rookies, so Jake Stahl's a rookie. And Tyree Jackson. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And then on defense, this, this one also kind of looked interesting. Um, let's see. So Brandon Graham is still there. I was trying to see how many veterans are still there. So we still got Brandon Graham. We still got Fletcher Cox. Um, Javon Hargrave, I think that's the guy that came from the Steelers. So he's pretty legit. Derek Barnett is still there. Josh Sweat is still here. Um, Jadard Avery. And then it looks like... Uh, Darius Slay, I, I forgot about him. I think they got him last year, but I didn't watch, so I forgot all about that. But yeah, Darius Slay is good. We got Roddy McLeod. I was pretty sad to see Jalen Mills go. I do like Jalen Mills, and he's on the freaking Patriots now, I saw, which that's depressing. But we got Roddy McLeod, so I, I think he's probably my favorite. And Avante Maddox, he's Avante Maddox is really good. No Cravey on LeBlanc, too bad. Cravey on LeBlanc had like the coolest name ever. I was always hoping that guy would work out just so I could buy his jersey. So, yeah, and then uh, obviously another the the final veteran that we have for for this uh, wrap up here is Jake Elliott, our Super Bowl kicker. So, I don't know. This is an interesting roster. Like I said, guys, I really think the Eagles feel fresh. The biggest thing is. Let me look this up now because this was something that I was going to look up. Sorry. This is why I wish I could just do live streaming. Just come hang out with you guys. Um, I was going to look up the offensive coordinator because I think they finally hired one. That was, that was Doug Peterson. His kryptonite of his final year, I think, was that he just didn't hire an offensive coordinator. So... Okay, so Shane Steichen from the LA Chargers. That's what my buddy was talking about. My buddy was telling me all these things about how the Eagles are modeling the Chargers or whatever. My buddy's a big Chargers fan. So, yeah, I don't know who Shane Steichen is, but it's good to see that the Eagles have offensive coordinator. And then their defensive coordinator is another one that... And that was another thing against the Falcons. The Eagles' defense looked really good. John Gannon. So, he comes from... Sorry, I'm such a noob at this, guys, right now. I apologize just because I've been, I've been so out of the Eagles' loop for so long. So, he comes from the Colts. Okay, so he was probably picked by Nick Sirianni to be there. So, yeah, these are all pretty young guys, too. Um... This looks like a pretty fresh roster. Like I said, you got a, a fresh coaching staff. You got enough veterans to where it doesn't feel quite like a rebuild. But then you have a bunch of second year and then rookie players led by a Jalen Hurts. And I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm pretty excited to keep watching. So just wanted to make that video a quick thoughts just so I could get um, caught up on the roster and... Um, I don't know, just ramble about it. I don't know even know if I'm giving you guys any new information that you already know, but like I said, I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things, make videos here, and uh, <clears throat> if I can uh, eventually get to 1,000 subscribers, I read that's how you can live stream. So hopefully that will happen soon. And then, uh, like I also said, guys, um, follow me on Odyssey as well because uh, – Odyssey is a great platform. If you guys are into like cryptocurrency or anything like that, you actually get, uh, it's called LBC. Um, it's a library token. Library, L-B-R-Y is the, uh, it's the actual company of Odyssey. If you guys have like Apple, I think Apple, you get Odyssey and then Android, you get library, but they're trying to like merge it into Odyssey. So it's a long video. I might make a video about cryptocurrencies if you guys ever want, but um, Odyssey, if you guys know anything about this, Odyssey runs on blockchain, so it's not centralized, and uh, that's a good thing because very censorship-free. So anyway, I won't ramble too much about that. All, I, all I'll say is I'm going to leave a link in, in all of my videos going forward, so when, if you guys ever get around to it, um, to my Odyssey channel. It's literally the exact same channel as my YouTube channel. 
it's just when you click on it it'll take you over to Odyssey and like I said in my previous video um, what Odyssey does is it actually just pulls all the videos off of YouTube and then like backs them up on its blockchain so um, yeah pretty cool stuff the, the new tech sites that are coming up after um, what happened with the election is pretty cool there's there's a whole bunch of sites like Odyssey is one and then uh, pre-search is what I'm using for my search engine now um, Minds is a good uh, Facebook alternative again if you guys ever want I'll make a video about all of this um, in the future because uh, if you guys don't really care about this I don't want to blab on too much about it as this is an Eagles video so anyway guys that is the video let me know what you guys think about the Eagles roster do you guys think that it's pretty pretty legit or are you guys kind of I got a I, I think I got a couple comments on one of on my last couple videos about how like they there's a there's a couple fans that still just don't seem to believe in the Eagles so completely understandable you know ever since the Super Bowl it felt like every year they just went down 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 so um, I don't know I mean we've, we've gone through Chip Kelly right we've gone through a lot as Eagles fans and so the Super Bowl was kind of a mirage it got to all of our heads and then we got brought back down to earth like oh wait a minute this is Philadelphia we're we're, we're not that great most of the time so <laughs> anyway um, maybe I'm just like this is also something Eagles fans do. I'm guilty of this. Is that every year we get a little more, a little too excited, I guess, a little, a little more excited than maybe we should. But I don't care. It's football. Football is back, um, and I'm I'm pretty excited this year. So, yeah. Like I said, let me know what you guys think. If you're new to the channel as well, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I want to thank everyone that watched my videos for checking it out. And uh, it's been Jigsaw 97. I'll talk to you all later.